Yo, 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 what up, what up, world? Turn on your post notifications and lock them with the fella, fella. Yo, what's good, guys? Because we outside. We outside, we out here. And we, we're doing something a little different today, man. Mm -hmm. We're having a talk. Ain't nothing, no crazy workouts today. We're just going to talk, man. Sit down. Um, good old yeah, conversation. Yeah. We're going to talk the hybrid talk. Yeah, you. yeah. Weights and calisthenics. Yeah. You know, I came into the game. I'm like, yo, I lift weights. I do calisthenics, too. You should, too. You know, um... You definitely want to get the best of both worlds. How you feel I mean, about that, though? Honestly, it's it's an argument. You know, it's a crazy argument right now. People are like, "Yo, it's better to lift weights. It's better to lift. Um, it's better to just do calisthenics." Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna front, bro. You my bro. Okay. You know you okay. my bro, son. No I, personal. I, I hear the butt. No, 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 I hear no the butt. No I personal hear the butt. feelings. But I, I, I personally feel like uh -huh. it's better to do calisthenics okay. than, than weight training because um, mm -hmm. when you do calisthenics a lot of calisthenics workout are compound movement. If, if, if not all a lot most of it yep. you know what I'm saying but when it comes to, to weight training you're kind of I mean there is a few um, weight training that that is compound moving but mm -hmm. as far as most of them you're just isolating your muscles like like dumbbell curls you're just sitting mm -hmm. down you're isolating your muscles and compared to somebody that's doing a, a chin-up Mm -hmm. Which is he's kind of working the same muscle, but he's getting his back involved his core involved There's a lot more muscles involved. So you're working more multiple muscles at the same time mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying compared totally to somebody that's saying so um, how, What do you feel? I, that's how I personally feel. That's why I feel like um, it's better. Honestly, I feel that One is not necessarily better than the other. Mm -hmm. I feel like they are both equal because you need to be versatile in different areas of your life and lifting weights can help you in certain areas and calisthenics can help you in certain areas. Okay. Now, I have a bodybuilding background and when it comes to putting on lean quality muscle, uh -huh. weightlifting has been quick, efficient, and effective for me. Um, I've always liked it because as long as you go in with a purpose, and you know how to execute certain moves, you'll get the look that you're that you'll get the look that you want. Um, when it comes to calisthenics, you may not put on that quality muscle as quick as you do when when weightlifting. So that's why I like weightlifting more than calisthenics for one. As I said, I like both equally. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to calisthenics, I like calisthenics because you don't own you I, I like calisthenics because you use your body weight mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. when the gyms are closed in the midst of this entire pandemic mm -hmm. you know i hear a lot of excuses people aren't working out because they may not own weights the gyms are closed they're, so they're, they're used to using weights yeah so they're, they're just to going to the gym. they're just not working out when any and everyone can lift weights not everybody can lift their body weight uh -huh. i've seen guys who, who can lift a hundred pound dumbbells and can't do a pull up. Yeah. I've seen guys who can um who can do pull ups in the calis calisthenic realms in the calisthenic realm but can't lift a hundred pound dumbbells. You know what I'm saying? So what I bring to this game is the best of both worlds. Okay. I wanna show people like, you know, it's okay to lift weights. There's nothing wrong with lifting weights. There's nothing wrong with doing calisthenics. When you learn to do both, you become the full package. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if you check out some of my video, some of my uh, some of my YouTube videos, you would see me deadlifting five plates. There are a lot of dudes in the calisthenic realm, in the calisthenic realm, who would love to be able to have that type of grip strength alone. Yeah. To pull I would, that, I would, I would love to. You know, be able to to, to, do to, that. to pull that amount of weight with ease. Yeah. That's you know, a fact. and. What's enabled me to do to do that is learning the appropriate form when it comes to lifting weight, weights. A lot of people say, oh, I don't lift weights because, you know, I don't want to mess up my joints. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to get injured. But what, feel, what people fail to understand is that if you learn to lift weights a pro, uh, uh, the, the, the right way, way. Okay. the right way, and work on your form uh -huh. instead of just lifting heavy ass weight yeah. it's truly beneficial to your well-being 
I do I do personally feel like you have to master your body weight though before you touch the weights. Totally like agree. If, if you're if you're a beginner, totally agree. You should I feel like you need to master you need to master push ups okay. before you touch the bench press. Mm -hmm. I feel like you need to master pull ups before you, you touch the, the pull down machine. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't bench press, I don't touch pull up, but I, I just personally feel like mm -hmm. you can't just go to you can't just say okay if you're like this is this, Let's say you're a total beginner, your first yep. time working out. Mm -hmm. You can't just hit the bench press. That's how I put Even if it's lightweight, I feel like you shouldn't even touch the bench press mm -hmm. yet. You should do push-ups. Um, if you can't do a pull-up, you know, inverted pull-ups. Mm -hmm. Do your squats, um, do your dips, you know, sit-ups, planks. I personally feel like you should start with lightweight. What do you think about Yo, I totally agree. I had a I had a subscriber hit me up from the UK the other day, and he wanted me to create a program for him. And um, I'm, I, I asked him, you know, are, are you lifting weights? Are you doing calisthenics? What, what are you looking for? What's your current state of um, uh, uh, of training? And he said that he can get to the gym when he can, but he's you know fo focused on calisthenic workouts. And I'm like, okay, cool. So you want to focus on your foundation. Proper form when it comes to your squats. Proper form when it comes to your push-ups. Proper form when it comes to your, your pull-ups. This is the foundation. You know, I'm not saying not to touch weights right off the bat, but what I am saying is it is in your best interest that you learn to work with your own body weight first. When you learn to work with your own body weight first, there aren't any excuses. Everyone has a body to perform. You know, if if you have a, a injure, if you have an injury, with your body weight, you can modify the movements. You know, weightlifting too, you can modify the movements, but you have a better chance of seeing progression with your own body weight. Gyms are closed, body weight workouts. You know, it's a win-win. It's a it's a win-win situation. So I totally agree with you. With um, as a beginner, it's in your best interest to work with your body weight first. Then you start incorporating weight here and there. And another you thing know? I know a lot of people say about weightlifters for sure, and I used to be that type of person mm -hmm. too. It's like there's nothing functional about weightlifting. Okay. You know, pull up, pull up is functional. Mm -hmm. Pull up is functional. It's like muscle up is definitely functional. If you're about to fall off a building, mm -hmm. you would need. To, if you've been practicing muscle ups or pull ups, you would be able to pull yourself up mm -hmm. and, and not fall off that building. You get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Same thing um, with, with the push-up, you know, no disrespect or whatever, not this, no censoring or whatever, but if you're, you know, doing your missionary position with your lady, I feel like, you know, you're my push, yeah. <laughs> push up is would be very essential for that. You get what I'm saying? Gotcha. And, um, yeah, I feel like squat, you know, like you, we sit all the time, so mm -hmm. you need to squat to, mm -hmm. um, for, for functional, for, so yeah, if you, if you sit all the time, if, you, if you're if you sitting and you're getting up, that's a squat, you get yeah. what I'm saying? So it's a functional thing. So as far as that, you know, people feel like, a lot of calisthenic people mm -hmm. feel like weightlifting is, is not, there. like you don't use it for functional stuff in life. How, how do you feel about that? I feel like uh, they are not seeing the bigger picture. Um, the, when, you, when you use your body weight for functional movements, yes. it's the same functional movements that you're doing in the gym when you're going to squat heavy loads. Okay. It's, still a, it's still a squat. Um, when you're going to do a, a weighted pull-up, you're doing a pull-up with, you know, with extra weight you know, because you definitely want to improve, improve your strength, improve your range of motion, you know, and, 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 and things of and things of that and nature. And I know this deadlift too. Deadlift. And, and deadlift and deadlift as well. Deadlift. When you go down to pick up oh, out the frame, but when you go down to pick something off the ground, you're in a deadlift position to pick it up. Are you not? So just uh just using weights, it helps you develop your overall strength. You know, I, I feel like a people uh, a lot of people, you know, stray away from the weightlifting in the calisthenic realm because they're afraid to get injured yes not knowing that as i said before if you practice the appropriate form and you don't put and you put reps well, well i'm lying if you put form 
overweight, mm -hmm. you get better results. Because now your form is A1, you can gradually increase the reps mm -hmm. to improve your strength. You know, but a lot of people just want to hop in and lift, you know, squat two blades, three blades, four blades, and want to know why you're getting injured. You, you, you know, um, I, I see a lot of people who would uh, go to the gym and, you know, would use wraps and everything like that. The There's nothing wrong with using wraps and protecting your joints. I want to make that clear. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, when training, you are training to strengthen and develop that muscle group you know that constant rap is not always you that that constant rap is taken away from strengthening you know certain muscle groups at a at a certain point and i i, I would overhear people oh i don't i don't have my wraps i'm not lifting today yeah. you should be able to lift a certain amount of weight without your wraps unless mm -hmm. you're you're injured or something or something of that sort okay you, you know, not taken away from rap because at, at this point, you know, I'm I'm getting older. I want to protect my joints and things of that nature. So I I, I go to supplements. I use my fish oils. Mm -hmm. I'm using sleeves, you know, to protect my joints. But there are, you know, there there's weight like something like a 45 on each side. You should be able to, if you've been lifting weights efficiently for a good period of time and you have great form, you should be able to tackle that weight yeah. without a problem, without wrapping up. I feel, I feel, like, up I feel and, like um, when it comes to calisthenics, I feel like weight training beats calisthenic when it comes to legs. You get um, what I'm saying? I feel like you need to hit the gym to do legs. Even though I still consider heavy squats mm -hmm. weighted calisthenics. It's like doing weighted pull-ups, mm -hmm. you know? As far as like, yeah, I still consider it um, weighted calisthenics, mm -hmm. but I feel like you would need to hit the gym to, to, to for the legs. Oh, oh, although, as I said, I have a bodybuilding background before, mm -hmm. and when I really started hitting legs hard for, for growth and everything like that, it came from weightlifting. I was hitting legs two times, two times a week, but I definitely want to say it all depends on um, what your training entails and what your goals are. You know, because you don't necessarily have to hit the gym in order to get the legs of your of the legs of, course, of your dreams. Of course. You, you, you but, know, but weights will be needed. But weights, weights, any type of weight is well, necessary. Even if you want to grab a log from somewhere out yeah. here, put that bad boy on your shoulder, For more resistance, and, and 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 lunge around to build the strength in your legs and put on size in your legs. It's going to come. But is that not weight? Yeah. That, you know, that, that deadlifting, I feel like you would need to do some deadlifting for the hamstrings. Romanian deadlifts. Yo. Which is, I don't I don't know if Romanian deadlift can be considered weighted calisthenics. Um. Yeah, it's it's questionable. So that would, that's where I would say like, okay, that's if that's weightlifting, you would need weightlifting for legs. A lot of calisthenics dudes don't do Romanian deadlifts. This is also true. Yeah, for it, hamstring. Because hamstrings, um, um, squats don't hit, really hit hamstrings. They hit the quads. They hit the quads. They hit hamstrings and some, yeah, yeah some, but, in some but, aspects. Because yeah. when you're when you're down low, that push, yeah, initial push. But to have the balance with the with the quads and the hamstring, you would need to do Romanian deadlifts. This is true. Yeah, this and is true. yeah. So. You know, you want you definitely want to strengthen all you know all the different muscle groups, and that's why you use different exercises yes. to target them. You know? And um, well, one thing I really hate, bro, mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, is weight machines, bro. Well, how okay. do you feel? What, like, I, I personally feel like weight machines are kind of, if you're not, if, if you're not injured, mm -hmm. I feel like it's kind of like a waste of time. I don't feel like weight machines are a waste of time. For the simple fact that when, um, when creating a program, they can be extremely helpful. Um, you know, for example, if you're doing a, 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 a tempo, like four, three, two, one, you can control that weight to your liking to get more of a, uh, to get more of a burn or a push out of the weight that you're lifting. Um, when it comes to doing, you know, a, a, a quarter reps, you know, you can control the weight to get uh, the, the burn and the push that, that you're looking for. On light days, I would use weight machines. For the simple fact, it's quick and efficient. Sometimes I don't even feel like loading up plates and things like that. And it, it works It works well for me. 
um, it's my go-to when other things are being occupied. You know, everything serves its purpose if you're using it in the right fashion. That that's that that's not that's my take on it. At the end of the day, when it comes to um, weight machines, lifting weights, calisthenics, cardio, everything serves its purpose. At the end of the day, it's about how you want to use it, how you want to apply it, you know? Because at the end of the day, knowledge is potential. The knowledge is out there for you. What do you want to do with it? You, you, you know, people don't want to lift weights because they're afraid of injury and things like that. The information is out there. Research, ask questions, you know, figure out how to um, lift with the correct form so you don't get injured. People can get injured doing calisthenics. Of course. All the, all, all the time. Yo, you don't stretch appropriately, you're going to get yes, injured. Yes, injured. Period. I remember I, I I got injured, what was it, um, two months yeah, yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I pulled a muscle because I didn't stretch appropriately. I was trying to do bar transfers, mm -hmm. you know? I, I, was, I couldn't, couldn't even hang from the bar for a good three weeks, you know? And... I didn't get injured doing lift, lifting weights. Yeah. I was lifting my own body weight. Yeah. And to be quite honest with you, I've never gotten injured um, lifting weights before. I've been lifting weights, well, taking it seriously since 2011 when I first dove into the bodybuilding realm. And um, I've never been injured, thank God for that. You, you, you know? But I was performing a calisthenic movement and I got injured. So now, if I, if, if I was not open-minded, I could say, oh, nah. I'm not doing any calisthenics yeah. because I could get injured. Well, well, so what about physique-wise, man? I'm not going to lie, bro. Uh -huh. When it comes to physique, I do I do give it to the bodybuilders mm -hmm. at the same time. But, you know, a lot of bodybuilders are on roids and shit. Okay. So, but there's some fucking dudes, man, mm -hmm. that are fucking jacked and ripped. Mm -hmm. you, we go to Wingate. Yeah. You know, like, here's people like Hannibal King. Mm -hmm. Just strictly calisthenics, bro. Mm -hmm. Yo, and I'm a, I'm a, um, because I have a bodybuilding background, again, um, everybody is not on juice, roids, or whatever, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. You know, because I've competed in a natural bodybuilding, um, natural bodybuilding league. I'm a pro in the WNBF, and you know, there's drug testing and things of, things of that nature. And I'm going up against guys who have amazing physiques. I have an amazing physique. That came um, that came from weightlifting. Uh, when it comes to when it, well, I hate. I'm gonna take that back. Not weightlifting. That comes from bodybuilding. There's a difference. Bodybuilding, weightlifting, two different things. I want want to put that out there. Um, so when it comes to um, bodybuilding, you know, you, you're you're sculpting your muscles. You know, you you, you want to be the full package. You want to be able to differentiate yourself from the other competitors on stage. And how do you do that? Oh, you work on getting a bigger chest or more detailed uh, striations in your legs or whatever you may need for you to stand out. You know, in the calisthenic realm, it's not about that. It's just about your overall performance. But now, you have an individual like myself who's always been about performance because I've competed in um, competed in boxing, track, football, playing sports all my life because I have an athletic background and in the bodybuilding realm. So all I could think about is looking good. Got that. Feeling good about that. You know what I'm saying? I, f I, I, feel, like, I feel like the best kept secret. You know what I'm saying? Um... I, I look good, I feel good, I'm performing on a level that a lot of individuals can't, per, can't perform on because they're in one realm. One thing about me, I, 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 I never wanted to be boxed in. I would hate when people say, oh, the, oh so you're a bodybuilder. Uh, I'm an athlete. You know, an athlete is well-rounded. You know, I, 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 I look good on, on stage. I could perform off stage I, I got heavy into the calisthenic realm when this whole pandemic ordeal kicked off you know i didn't think that i could do half of the things that i um that i can that i can do but because of the way that i train as an athlete enables me to perform the way that i perform in the calisthenic realm 
You, you know what I'm saying? The guys in the calisthenic realm who work extremely hard and may not have the physique and the yes. look that I have. Yeah, that's a fact. But the physique and the look that I have comes strictly from tailoring it in the gym as a, as a bodybuilder because I'm sculpting. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sculpting. So now when you put me in a, into the calisthenic realm, the look is there. Anything else applied to it is the icing on the cake. You, you know, anything other, and, and you you remember when I uh, when I started getting more into calisthenics, because yeah. the gyms was closed, I wasn't lifting a lot of heavy weight, so I kind of leaned out a lot more. I leaned out a lot more because all of the movements required me to do a lot more cardio endurance work. Yeah. You, you know, and that was that was an awesome factor about it. It'll always keep your heart rate elevated, mm -hmm. your breathing on point. Yeah. And, and I, I, it took me to another level. That's a fact. It, it, it took me to another level. That's a fact. When I was in the gym, the way that I train, my sets have little to no rest in between. You know? So now I'm outside doing the calisthenics. My breathing is already on point. Mm -hmm. But doing 100 burpees yeah. and things like that. I didn't, think, I didn't think I was built for it. I linked up with Gumby. Shout out to Gumby. Gumby Publishing. And, um... And he didn't even think, because of my size and my background, yeah. I'd be able to pr perform efficiently with the with the burpee with the challenge. Burpees. Smoke that shit. So my first time. I fucking hate burpees. Leave it up to me. I'm not doing burpees. I don't even do ten burpees. But now, after I, after I did that yeah. um after I did that that video with with them, I'm like, yo, I'm burpee king out this motherfucker. Hot dog. That's what's up, Son, man. It's, it's, it's a different world. That's why I'm just like, yo, stop, stop hating on lifting, lifting weights. Another example for you. My boy, my boy got shot, right? Could have lost his life. But he didn't do to all the the, the the muscle that he had in his in his in his chest. You know? Bullet was close to his heart. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it couldn't. Yo, he's a big fella too. Think, he think lifts son, yeah, he lift, he lifts weights. He lifts weights, you know. But having all that muscle in his chest and just being a big dude, yo, he he survived. That's thank God, up, thank God, thank God for that. That's you up. know, but but you know, just just having certain qualities when uh, like you know, strength and. Things like that. It takes you to another level when your life is in when your life is in, in, in danger. You know? When you got that rush and you need to hop, I mean, go the extra it's, mile. It's to each his own, you know, I feel like too at the same time. You know, we got dudes in prison that you know they they I think weights certain mm -hmm. prisons have weights like restricted. So it's like they gotta use only their body weight. They yeah. gotta do push ups. Definitely. But you're definitely um I feel like you're definitely right. It's good to do everything. Cause I see you and Akeem. Oh yes, yes. yo! Shout out to Akeem Supreme. Yeah. yeah, Akeem Supreme. My man is a hybrid too. Yeah. You, you know, it's it's funny. I came from the bodybuilding realm into the calisthenic realm. Uh -huh. He was vice versa. He came from the calisthenic realm yeah. into the bodybuilding yeah. realm. And this shit Look changed. at that man. He changed. Look I, at that I, I man. I seen him when he was just, just Look at strictly me. doing calisthenics, man. Too. Yo, it's to, it's a yeah. it's a total yeah. it's a total. Yo, the, the package definitely, is different. Definitely inspired, man. Definitely the package inspired. is different. Definitely inspired. Do man. calisthenics. Lift weights. Work on your form. Yeah. Do yoga. Do yo. Do all that do shit. Do all of that. Flex. Um, Become yeah. a supreme being. Yes, that's a fact. Don't, 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 don't let anybody keep you in a box. A don't keep yourself in a box. A Expand your motherfucking horizons. <laughs> Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna start lifting Expand weights too, your man. Horizons. Just to challenge my body. I love challenges. Challenge so your body. Challenge yourself. Yeah. You don't have to do it every single day, mm -hmm. but if you're looking for a, 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 a little something to, you know, to make you, you know, stand out a little bit more, or get, you know, get stronger. Facts. Find something that works for you. That's a fact. Be open. Be open-minded to, you know, seeing what's out there. 
picking up different pieces of information. If it works for you, it works for you. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work for you, put it down. Yeah, Nobody's fun. forcing it down your throat. Pause. <laughs> Moment of silence. Yo, man, <laughs> shout out to my boy, Yo, bro. Matt, man. It's always Yo, a pleasure. Make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. Lock in Muscle Memory Fitness for the YouTube. Yo. M underscore M underscore fit for the gram. Fella, fella, ain't hard to find, baby. Yo, we got more side. videos coming, man. I'm going to start Big lifting facts. weights with the boy. Big facts. So I can feel that bump you talk Hybrid talk, baby. Yeah. Become know, a man. supreme being. Real shit. Yeah, ha. yeah.